Live in our studio tonight to continue this conversation about Anchorage's housing challenges is Assemblymember Daniel Volan. And thanks so much for joining us tonight. First off, we're coming to an end of Anchorage Housing Action Week. For those who may not be aware, what was this week all about? Well, thank you for having me, uh, Micah Maria. It, it's wonderful to be here in the studio with you. Anchorage Housing Action Week, uh, it has truly been an action action-packed week. Um, we, you know, the, the Anchorage Assembly is really laser focused right now on tackling our housing crisis that we have here in Anchorage, um, which I think is, is directly related to the challenges in, in the, the video that we just watched um, with our, our younger population. We have young people leaving Alaska, working age population leaving Anchorage, and I think housing attainability is a big part of that. Um, we want the community to weigh in on solutions. And so we've really worked hard this week to engage the community. Um, and as you saw, Steve was at the summit uh, today. We had policymakers in the room, industry experts, community members, um, because we think it's important to have that dialogue and to have a vision for housing in Anchorage. To that, uh, to that end, the Anchorage Assembly also has unveiled our strategic housing plan. Well, Daniel, what are some of the specific challenges that were discussed this week? Can you kind of focus it for us? What, what were you guys talking about? Absolutely. Uh, barriers to building, um, the economic factors, high cost to build, uh, overly restrictive zoning uh, code in Anchorage is something that's been talked about. Um, how can we build a small multifamily, triplex, fourplex, um, as well as larger multifamily? The way that I like to frame it is housing choice. We need all types of housing in Anchorage for everybody. And that can look different. You know, if, you, if you're a, a family that has the six kids and the dog, well, you might need a, a larger single family home. Um, but if you're a young millennial, maybe you need a, a two bedroom apartment. Um, and so we have to have something for everyone. So what opportunities and proposed policies is the assembly working on to address some of these many challenges? So I'm working on two ordinances. One is to consolidate zoning and visit some of our dimensional standards, design standards that are in code that uh, I think some would argue are overly restrictive or overly prescriptive um, and trying to align that with our publicly adopted plans like the 2040 land use plan that sets a vision for a diversity of housing types and increased density. Um, the other ordinance that I'm working on um, is trying to make it easier to build small multifamily triplex fourplex. The moment you go from two to three units, there's a number of factors that increase cost and time on a project um, when it comes to building a triplex or fourplex. Things like on-site drainage review, on-site traffic circulation review, what type of fire sprinklers you have to have. And so we've had a number of conversations with building officials, folks in the planning department, our fire inspectors, our traffic director, uh, on how can we make it easier, but not throw the safety baby out with the over-regulation bathwater. We want to right-size our code and just make it easier for um, us to build housing for all type of people. All right, certainly a lot to consider. Anchorage Assembly Member Daniel Volan, thanks so much for joining us Thank in our you. studio today.